Hello, good morning. Can I get milkshakes delivered for my two children here? <laughs> Natalie, you won't believe what those stupid foreign suppliers said to me. <sighs> he was like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, actually, make that three. Also, add the most bitter coffee you have. I'm gonna have a long day. Yes, ma'am. And I just wanted to punch his face. Hey, Miss Natalie. Guess what? I promised myself to move on and never love an aggressed again. Good job, Marinette. Me too. Five seconds later with the aggressed. <laughs> you know, Marinette, promises are made to be broken. You're right. Let's never love them ever again starting next week. <laughs> just relax, Miss Natalie. This backup attire will surely get the crowd's attention. Just believe Adrian and I. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so tense, Natalie. Marinette's an expert at this, and you already know that. <sighs> I know that, you two. It's just that, if the laundromat didn't mess up my usual work pantsuit, I wouldn't be bothering both of you right now. Gosh, these contact lenses are such a bother. Ugh. And all of the times this disaster could happen, it just had to happen today when I have to deliver a speech in this charity event. It's alright, we don't mind. Plus, I'm done with your hair. Ta-da! Well then, thanks so much, both of you, for doing my hair and for lending me a decent work suit you had been making, Marinette. Thanks a lot. I need to go. Mr. Aggress is waiting. See you both after this. Bye. Bye-bye, Natalie. Good luck on your speech, miss. What's taking her so long? Sorry, sir. Had a little trouble with the last-minute wardrobe change. All my usual attire were ruined, so I borrowed Marinette's new creation. Don't worry, sir. They also helped me review my speech, and we still have plenty of room to go to the event. <laughs> S sir you've been staring at me for quite some time now. I is there something on my face? I haven't seen myself in a mirror yet. Uh, no, you're great. I mean, you look great. I want to say lips go. I mean, let's legs go. I, I mean, the car's waiting. Hi there. I'm just a friend. <laughs> Hello, just a friend. I'm Mayura. Mm. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Your real script. Hello, just a friend. I'm just an assistant. Sorry for the rate reply, and I know you probably by now, so good luck. Sucks to be you today, Mayura. Uh -huh. <gasps> Don't tell Marinette that I stole the croissants. I can hear you, Adrian. Coffee. I want coffee. <sighs> you fired them again just so I'd model for you, didn't you? Yep. Because I love you. Green suits you well. Hmm. <laughs> mm, this color is nice. Lady, croissants first, please. Green suits you well. Oh, yeah? Since you don't agree with me, Adrian will model for me. Fine, then Mom and Natalie will model for me. Father, you're way taller than Natalie, right? How do you talk with her? What do you mean, Adrian? Well, now that I've grown much taller than my girlfriend, I found it hard to talk to her in a position that wouldn't hurt my back or my neck. Which leaves me to wonder, Father. What position do you find comfortable when talking to Natalie? Mm. Uh, position? Mm. Have the agent suppliers called you yet, Natalie? N not yet, Mr. Agrest. Mm. I may be the leader of the Mafia, but I never use any of the illegal substance, Officer Natalie. But I'll have you kept hostage here, and soon enough, you will marry me and take care of my son. I'll also buy you a new pair of glasses, okay? Mm. Hey, Officer Natalie Sancure. Tell Officer Natalie that I'm taking her backpack. I need to burn it because it's unfashionable. Quandil me prendas en me pas, je vole en rose. Tu me de la mort, la mort, de mort de toi. Le droit est à ma fête, quel gâteau. Il est centré dans mon corps. Un pot de bonheur dont l'injuste le cons. C'est ce pour moi, ou un pot loin d'en le vie. Il me l'a dit la le pot la vie. I'll make your life a living hazard. 
I'll take everything from you. You think you're so clever, Marinette? Let's see what happens when you mess with me. Please, Lila. Having to see your face alone is already more toxic than... I'm starting to wonder why I'm not wearing a face mask around you. Come to think of it, I should wear face masks on my ears too because your voice is making me have a fever, cold, and a cough. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy when it comes to doing everything for someone you actually love. There are things you have to force yourself to do, even if it kills you, Ladybug. Do we really have to die for the men that we love? Is that how it's supposed to end for us, Mayura? Well, I got myself into this mess, so I only have myself to blame for falling for him and injuring myself. I threw away my shot of telling him how I feel. But just because I ended up like this doesn't mean you have to be like me as well. You're still young, Ladybug. You have so much to live for. Don't ruin your life just because you're willing to let your chance of expressing how you feel to who you truly love go. Don't be like a coward. Take your shot without any doubt. If you really love him, continue being patient. Love him because you're strong. Let go of your worries and just live in love. You're right, Mayura. Hey, Trinagress! Tetame! Marinette? Someone made me realize that I can't truly be happy until I become strong enough to tell you how I feel. That person made me realize that maybe I don't need to hurt myself for you to know what I've been doing for you, Adrian. I love you, Adrian Agrest. And I don't want to throw my shot. You may only see me as a friend, but you are everything to me. I don't know why you still haven't noticed everything I did for you. Marinette, I... This... This changes everything. Uh, I've been so blind, haven't I? You know who Ladybug is, Natalie. You said those words to Ladybug. She is Ladybug. You need to tell Gabriel. You need to take her miraculous. Nah, not today. Brave people like her deserve some happiness. You keep your wife, I keep my dog. More fun? Zero stress. Precious baby. Oh. Oh. Thanks for buying dog food, sir. I love you. Hmm. <clears throat> Father, can I have a girlfriend? Here you go, Adrian. Huh? How about a new mom? Why would you need a new one when you already have Natalie? Hmm? Right. How about a baby sibling? Hmm. Adrian, you know I can't give you one if I don't have a new wife. Why would you need a new one when you already have Natalie? <laughs> WTF, I'm dead. <laughs> OMG, he's actually right. Hmm. 